Praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters. Praise, glory, and honor belong to our omnipotent sovereign God, who is glorious and loving, and he's faithful, beloved brothers and sisters. Oh, faithful is our God. Amen. Praise God. That is coming on the clouds. Amen. To sit here and, and retrieve from this world what has remained loyal unto him. Amen. Praise God. And we can only thank him. We can thank him for his instruction, saints, to sit here and do as he has called us to do. Amen. To learn the ways of his people. Amen. That we might be able to be privileged, as he tells us in Jeremiah 12, 16, for all of you saints, you servants, you called and you elect, you stones that are getting woken up from your sleep and your slumber. Amen. Praise God. God anoints and he appoints and he's choosing those that are remaining loyal unto him to learn diligently. Amen. Praise God. We know that the word of truth tells you, spirits. Amen. Praise God for all of you that have an ear to hear. God tells us when he's writing his, his scripture in the tablet of your heart, child. Amen. So you know what's hypocrisy. We, we know how deceived people are, are on that wide road. Amen. Praise God. And let this service here. Be unto you, beloved brothers and sisters, as it, as, as, it is, as it is unto me, a learning, a time for you to receive, so we can be found loyal unto the Lord, even more worthy, because there's scripture that we got to be found worthy unto the Lord, that he finds us worthy, amen, praise God. And so we remain loyal unto him, so we can be as Jeremiah 12, 16 tells us, if they will diligently, yours tells you as well as mine, spirits, and I'm here with my spirit, but I'm here for my brothers and my sisters that are, that are opening our eyes to the hypocrisy and the worldly traditions that have been sitting here and um, uh, uh, integrated through Christianity, through people that are followers of the way, amen, praise God. I'm not here for you worldly defenders that want to defend the ways of this world and want to, you go on and be the hypocrite that God calls you, amen, praise God, because I was that too, until he enlightened me to the Holy Spirit, because we know that we get taught through the Holy Spirit, amen, what is acceptable to God and what is not, and what is written for us to keep and what is not. And if it's not written in the scriptures, why we keep it and continue going, just because everybody else is doing it, we're going to want to do it too. And I'm sitting here saying this because, you know, the, if somebody tell me about Lent. I don't celebrate Lent. It's not in the scriptures for us to celebrate Lent, beloved brothers and sisters. And please, we can, I'm going to show you where in scripture where God calls those that, that sit here and do that. Um, the, that do this hypocrites, because that's a man-made tradition, or Christ would have told you, as I fasted for 40 days, you fast too. Amen? God is to the point on what he says, like, like we're going to sit here and read some of his appointed feasts, where he tells you what months and, and what days to do it. Amen? Praise God. We fall, Are you following the way? Or are you following the man? Amen. Praise God. Lent is appointed for people, for us to sit here and you do it. Amen. Praise God. According to how God tells you to, not man. Mark 7, 1, 9 tells you about following man-made traditions that he calls us hypocrites. Amen. Praise God. And this is for all of us. We're all growing spiritually, right? We're all getting taught by the Lord. We're all having our eyes open that want to. And if you want to keep blinded and keep walking in that way, you're more than welcome to. Amen. Praise God. But at least on Judgment Day, you won't be able to tell the Lord, I didn't know because even if it's on this device from my brothers and my sisters that are willing to have an ear to hear, and that as well is a privilege. It's not a right and given to everybody. Who share who Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Matthew 15, 1 through 9 tells us as well in Matthew 6, 16 to 7, that when we pass, don't be like the hypocrite. Amen. Praise God. Who, but for us to anoint our face and, and our and not to sit here and be like everybody else. And what are y'all doing? When you're sitting here doing that, are you not fasting to show everybody? 
Are we not supposed to be fasting in secret? Amen, praise God. So if you are sitting here following this man-made lint thing, are you following man or are you following the Lord? And what he's telling you. Because if he would have told you to sit here and do this, you could, you, I wouldn't be sitting here speaking about it. Amen, praise God. He told us here in Jeremiah 12, 16 says, And if they will diligently learn the ways of my people and swear by my name, saying as surely as the Lord lives, even as they taught my people to swear by Baal, when they shall be built, so they shall be privileged to be built in the midst of my people. Amen. Praise God. Joshua 23, 7 tells us, So you are not to associate with these nations that remain among you. You must not, uh, not call on the name of their gods or swear by, by them, and you must not serve them or bow down to them. Jeremiah 5, 7 seven tells us, why should I forgive you? Your children have forgotten me and sworn by gods that are not gods. And satisfied, I satisfy their needs. Yet they commit adultery and assemble, and assemble at the house of prostitutes. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Because, so, you know, God tells us in Isaiah 58, 5, 58, 3 to 5. Let's, let's read it. Amen. For all of you, we, we read out doctrine here, and, and all of you brothers and sisters, and this is something that you guys, we're here gathering together, so that way when you go out there, people come with you with these kind of things, you bring a Bible, and you tell them, no, what, is, what do you think this means? Not arguing, you know, but tell them what, because you can't argue with the truth. Amen, who can do that? Nobody, only the world independent, they want to be, I guess they want to be hypocrites, I don't know. Amen. But we not. We're going to be found loyal unto the Lord and obey what he has written for us to obey and not follow man. Amen. Praise God. The word of truth tells us, cry aloud, cry aloud in 58, Isaiah 58, cry aloud and spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Tell my people their transgressions, the house of Jacob, their sin. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteously and did not forsake the ordinances of, of, of their God. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching God. Why why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen? Why have you afflicted or why we have we afflicted our souls and you take no notice? In fact, in the days of your fast, says the Lord, you find pleasure and exploit all your laborers. Indeed, you fast for strife and debate, and do not strive, strike with the fist of and to strike with the fist of wickedness. You did not fast as you do, as you do this day, to make your voices heard on high. It is the fast that I have chosen, a day for a man to afflict his soul. Is it is it to bow down his head like a bow pressure to spread out sackcloth and ashes? For all you can do your ass with it, ain't, that ain't even the Lord. Will you call this a fast and an acceptable day to the Lord? It is not the fast that I have chosen to lose your bondages of wickedness, says the word of truth. To unto the heavy burdens, to let the oppressors press go free, and that you break every yoke. It is not to share your bread with the hungry, and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out. When you see the naked that you cover him, and not hide yourselves from your own flesh, then you... Then your light shall break forth like the morning, and healing shall spring forth speedily. And your righteousness shall go before you, the glory of God shall be on your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall call, and he will say, Here I am. Amen. If you take away the yoke from your midst, the pointing of the finger and speaking wickedness, if you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall dawn in the darkness, and your darkness shall be as the noonday. The Lord will guide you continuously and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring water whose water, waters does not fail. Amen. Praise God. 
Many people in this day and, and age spirit, y'all follow man-made traditions and commandments and men and bend over backwards to sit here and do what is not appointed for us to. Amen. Matthew 6, 16. And we're going to sit here and read this in a minute. We're going to pray. And then we are going to sit here and read about God's feast days. Amen. Praise God that we are appointed to keep. There ain't no Easter in this Bible. Amen. Praise God. All of you spirits that have an ear to hear. It's called Passover. When you sit here and trade, if you spirits have an ear to hear, please hear what the spirit is saying. If you, you can't trade one name for another and give it another name and expect it to be uh mean that have the same meaning because the devil is a liar. So don't don't be fault. Don't don't be foolish in the way that you sit here and think, okay? Amen. But you can if you want to. But and I, and I gave this uh this for for people as to whether like well it's the same thing. I said, okay, let me tell you this this way so you can understand. Can you put um a, a title of can you, can you take that little emblem of a Ford and put it on a Chevy, but it's the same thing? Would it be the same thing? No, it would not. Yes, it's a car, but it's not the same thing. Amen. Can you put an emblem of a Nike on a Jabot and it's the same thing? Consider it the same thing? No, what they'd be looking at you crazy, wouldn't they? Praise you, Jesus. Joshua. Amen. Praise God. So can it be the same thing? No, it can't. Amen. So don't deceive yourself and don't be ignorant, beloved brothers and sisters, amen, to fall for the oka doka dok because God says that even the very elect could possibly be deceived. Amen. Y'all talking to a true truth. Y'all, you, my brothers and sisters, that are going to be, because we are learning the ways of his people so that we, amen, can have a privilege to be uh, implanted in the midst of his people, okay? Now, I don't care. Y'all can do it the way you want to, but me and my house, we going to what? Serve the Lord. Amen? Matthew 6, 16 tells you, spirits, and all of you saints that have an ear to hear, amen? Praise God. God tells us the spirit of what? was coming. The spirit of truth to guide you into all truth. Amen. Praise God. And it should be dwelling in you because you know. But you worldly defenders, you're going to be like, no, well, will you go ahead on. Keep on with that chain and that burden. Amen. Don't get that shackle on to sit here and try to please people because we please in the Lord. Amen. By being obedient to what he has called for us to do. Amen. Matthew 6, 16 says, when you fast, do not be somber like the hypocrite, for they disfigure their face, amen, to show people that they are fasting. What are y'all doing when you're practicing this 40-day Lent thing, all you spirits that have an ear to hear? That's not even biblical. Y'all doing just that, oh, I can't wait until, oh, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, Lord. I know I went against thanking my God because I'm sitting here laughing. But it's the truth, y'all. Isn't are y'all going against what God tells us not to do? Let's be honest, let's be real. Amen. Praise God. God said the Lord tells us the word of truth. When the truth comes, it's gonna offend a lot of people. <laughs> because we we sit here and I used to do it. You know, this is why I'm telling y'all. We're doing exactly what Matthew 6 16 tells us not to do. Does the hypocrite go around doing and what, what they're doing? Y'all going to steal a whole lot of your brothers and sisters. Or, and besides that, if you're doing it to cor 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 corroborate, corroborate, or however you say that, excuse my language, but if I can sit here and say it right. But if y'all doing it to sit here to corroborate, corroborate the, the fast of Christ, amen, as a lot of people use this Lent, worldly Lent thing, the 40-day fast, well, then at the end of those 40 days, if you make it, amen, why would you sit here and go back to doing it? Did Christ, you're not following Christ if you're sitting here and 
co corroborating or, or say, like you say, you're doing it to follow the, uh, the, the example of Christ. Christ, when he sit here and did his 40 days, he didn't go back to doing anything. He grew stronger in the spirit and could propel forward. Amen. Not fall backwards like a whole lot of people do. Y'all just sit here and do it to show about. Amen. And, and that's not scripture. That's not about the Lord, saints, and all of you spirits that have an ear to hear. And please, I'm not talking about, okay, hey, you doing it the way you do it because you're the one that's looking foolish at the end of the day when you do these 40 day fasts that's worldly because it's not, it's not appointed for us to because we do it as God commands us to do. And he tells us, like in Matthew 6 16, he tells us, when you fast up, don't be like the somber, like the hypocrites. Who disfigured their face? Who? How many people are you gonna see? <laughs> Even your brothers and sisters, amen. Who I can't wait until so I can sit here, go back to smoking and drinking. Well, that's not Christ like, amen. That's hypocrisy, amen. That's hypocrisy, saints. That's hypocrisy, spirits, and all of you that have an ear to hear. Don't fall for that. Amen. And if you do corroborate, like you say, that y'all do this, then you go stronger and keep going forward. Why are you going to go back to that ch chain? Amen. Because he tells us, I truly tell you, they already have, have received the reward. Amen. But he tells us when we fast to anoint our faces and our heads and not to be like them hypocrites and be so bold and everybody seeing it. All of these spirits that have an ear to hear, please hear what I'm telling you. Amen. Because I'm showing you on sound doctor what it says, right? I'm not sitting here telling you something that Leroy would tell that this server is going to say, mm -mm. we don't do it like the world does it. We do it like the Lord commands us to do it. And if that lint that you lend, that ash, we just read about that, that ash. It's not even about the Lord. Come on, break nothing in. That's not written right here. God talks about ashes, but he tells you to go throw yourself on the ground and roll around in the dirt. Amen, praise God. That has nothing to do with God, saints. That, that's worldly. Get back, get back to the basics. Get back to, to the Lord, saints. Just start reading. Don't be doing it. Amen. Praise God. And don't be trading one thing for another. Like I said, you can't you can't put on a Nike Converse and, and then go put on one of these generic shoes and, and still and it's, it remains the same because it's it's not. So we're gonna be studying the Lord's feast. Amen. We're gonna be reading in Leviticus twenty three and Numbers twenty eight. Through nine, all of these spirits that have an ear to hear, because get your Bibles, because you're going to be reading it just like me. God says to learn the ways of his people, so that way we can possibly be implanted in him. And Jeremiah 12, 16 tells us that, and that's what we're going to do. Amen. Praise God. Deuteronomy 16, for all of you, write this down. Because we're going to do a little bit today, and we're going to start studying it, because like I said, you know, the Holy Spirit leads. And he teaches us and he opens our eyes to understanding the wisdom that's above this world. And some people still ain't going to get it and they ain't going to see it. But we are blessed by the Lord of hosts to be instructed and follow the way, the truth, and the light. Let us pray. We're going to sit here and, and uh, praise the Lord song. I love to sing to the Lord for, for what he has done for me, for enlighten my eyes to to. The truth, amen, about the things that we have to sit here and do. And this is why I can walk so confidently with the Lord. And and and, and y'all can too. But you got to obey what God tells you. Don't follow what man says. If it's not written, ask him, where does it say that? To well, if no, it will tell you. Our God is to the point. Is, is your God to the point? My God is to the point in the scriptures. Are y'all going to see? Of how, what are we supposed to do and how we're supposed to celebrate things. And how we're supposed to be around other nations. Like he tells us, don't sit here and learn the, the ways of them people because they're erring and they're walking. A lot of judgment is coming on this earth. Amen. And uh, to all nations and all tribes and all tongues from one end of this world to the other. Amen. And, we're, and while we pray, we're always going to pray. We're going to pray for Israel, for our, our Jewish brothers and sisters that are in Israel, that the Lord enlightens them to sit here and repent of their ways and, and come to the knowledge of the truth of Christ. Amen. Praise God, the Messiah, who is, is the Lord of hosts in the flesh. 
and walked in this earth to show us how to walk and what to obey. Christ, even being the Lord himself, showed us how to obey the Passover, not Easter, Passover, um, and, and the different feast days that were there and meant to corroborate and and learn the way. And we're going to do this here with this with this servant. Uh, I haven't learned, and I got a Jewish brother named Russ, and, and we're going to sit here and, and fellowship about um, these kind of things because we have to learn. We have to obey what God has said and separate ourselves from the, the worldly things, amen, and, and start uh, honoring what God has written for us to sit here and celebrate. And we're going to learn together. I'm learning as well as y'all are. Amen. Praise God. We're, we're one in, in the body of the Lord. And I don't want, I don't want, I want you to be standing strong in the Lord and um, be able to be counted worthy at, at that day, beloved brothers and sisters. Amen. And and you guys, please, in the mighty name of Christ, Christ, Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus, mighty name, I ask you always to uh, open you up your eyes of, of of the things that we do that are unjust and unrighteous before the Lord. And we've counted even these little scriptures or posts that you post that has anything that's worldly, that's glorifying the way or any kind of wickedness because it's innocent. And, and I have to, I mean, I have to step away from, from people like that because they're going to continue and they'll try to uh, instill in new ways of this world or things that are against what God is telling us. And they count, They think that they're not doing anything wrong, not knowing that God has given a whole lot of people, as Second Thessalonians 2, 10 through uh, 13 tells you, spirits that are, have an ear to hear, you've given them over to a reprobate mind, they ain't brought, truly brought their flesh into subjection, amen, praise God, and crucified it, and his, and his desires for the lust of the flesh, the bright lights, the big old assemblies of, of deceived people. They men, they're deceived people, the big old assembly, and they want to go over there and join this. And, and knowing if you're going to go in there, go in there speaking the word of the Lord or the Holy Spirit fills you, saints. Amen. And all of you spirits that have an ear to hear, to be able to sit here and speak the word of the Lord the way it needs to be bought. And they're not going to, to like you, but you never know. If the words that are getting spoken to them, them seeds that are that are pouring out of you, spirits, it's going to touch those that truly belong to God to draw them closer, to study the scriptures, and to, to show themselves approved, amen, as we are. To, so we can be used as instruments of righteousness for the whole wide world, amen, praise God. But we as well, when we got the love of the Lord in us, and it's pouring out through your spirit, you want no man to perish, as the Lord says, but every man to be saved and to come to repentance, amen, to true repentance, true remorseful repentance, breaking the barriers that we have built up for ourselves, even the strongholds of our own minds, and sometimes the truth that you speak is going to hurt. It's going to be hard, amen? But if you don't let it rip, <laughs> because the Holy Spirit will be within you, and it'll be like fire, like we just read a few, I mean, a th couple of services back when we gathered together, amen? To speak the word of truth, that it's the, the word of truth is like an unto fire, beloved brothers and sisters, that, that is within us. And, um, and um, we sit here in the, uh, cannot sit here in, 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 and just let it flow because it's the Holy Spirit that's speaking through you. And, and you got to be a willing vessel to be able to speak those words like that because, and they'll know that. Of course, we're going to get judged. They're going to think about who you think you is. You ain't perfect. Blah, blah, blah. God says to move on to perfection. The time of ignorance is over. You can stay that way if you want to, but God doesn't want you to perish, and I love you enough to sit here and tell you that. Amen. Praise God. So as we're sitting here, we're going through these times, beloved brothers and sisters. Um, let's um, grow closer to the Lord. Amen. We're going to grow closer to the Lord and learn his ways, as Jeremiah, as Jeremiah 16, 12 tells us. Amen. Praise God. Let us pray, amen, and then we're going to sit here and, and glorify God with a song. And um, and then we're going to read some of how we celebrate his feast days and draw closer to learning how to do that. And ask the Holy Spirit to teach us and enlighten us. 
Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this time that you have given us to gather together, Father God, the gathering of the saints, the gathering of the call, the gathering of the elect, the God, the gathering of the chosen, Holy Father, to sit here and learn your ways. Enlighten us, Father God, and fill us, Father God. First and foremost, search our hearts, Father God, and take all the, all the impediments, all the hardness in our hearts uh, away and out of us, Father God, as we give our life to the potter's hand, Father God, and ask you, Lord, that you sit here and, and lead us and guide us into all truth so that we can be found to be worthy to be implanted in the midst of your people as Jeremiah 16 12 tells us Holy Father teach us Holy Spirit enlighten us and guide us into all truth as your, as your word tells us in John when the spirit of truth comes we're going to tell us let your truth be upon us Father God all our stubbornness all our rebelliousness all our hard heartedness all our stiff nakedness, Father God, all, all our knuckleheadedness, Father God, let it be gone from us this day. Wash us, renew us, sanctify us, justify us, Father God, as we are being obedient to your word and wanting to learn your ways, Father God, and to know you. Almighty God, as we sit here, we gather today, this day, Father God, we're asking you to sit here and, and show yourself and, and your will. Uh, in that war that's going on over there because we know that innocent people are going to die but in your scripture you tell us as well holy father to, to be ready for it because a lot of the innocent people are going to die that are out there for us to sit here just to draw ourselves closer to you protect us holy father guide us and and those that belong to you over there in in ukraine because we know that you're god of justice and and you, you yourself father god will let them and many people would open up their eyes to understand these scriptures, Holy Father, that, that you sit here and do that when people are being disobedient. Even you did it to Israel, Holy Father. You will send another nation in there to wake them up and wake them up, Holy Father, and to call them to draw them back to you so we can go. And we don't know if that's what you are doing in this time, Holy Father, for you're under your... Your, your ways are not our ways, Holy Father. Well, I know as you enlightened me earlier, Holy Father, that you told me even if you showed that you put it in my mind that even if we, you showed yourself strong on their behalf, that they would not give you glory if none of us do. We, we give you the praise to something else, even puff themselves up, Father God, to say, look at what we've done, look at what we've done, instead of give you the glory, Father God, and look at what you've done. Holy Father, by faith and believing you do all, I know you're going to do what you're going to do, Holy Father. We're asking you to see here that your mercy be upon all their lives, Holy Father, and touch them and let them know what they're doing or what you're doing to see you wake up those that belong to you, Father God, and those that are going to be stiff-necked and hard-headed and stubborn and rebellious, Holy Father. They're going to get in their due portion, just like we are. Everybody that's being disobedient and, and sitting here doing things that are unjust and unrighteous, Holy Father, we know that you are going to stink us too, Father God, and we are, are going to have to face judgment before you, Father God, and we don't know what you're doing. But whatever you're doing, let your will be done, Father God, for it's going to is going to happen anyway. I'm not praying against that. I'm praying that you sit here and show yourself mercy, Father God, that your mercy be upon this battle and, and this war and all our lives, Father God. Show mercy, Father God, in your wrath, Lord, whatever you're pouring out, whatever you're doing. Lead us and guide us into repentance, true from our heart, to start seeking you fully, Father God, fully, not partially, not selective, not when, when it's convenient for us, Father God, but fully each day, Father God, looking to you, looking to the cross, looking to Christ, looking to your Holy Spirit to light us and guide us our way. Heal those that are out there, Father God, protect those that belong to you, Holy Father, because you sell us in your word. Those that are disobedient, what's going to happen to them, Father God, and they think it's a joke. But you're not a joking man. You are a righteous and just God, Holy Father. You are a holy God. You are a God of judgment. You are a God of justice. You are a God of righteousness. And why any of us, any of us want to be stubborn and start committing unrighteous acts and, and wickedness is beyond us, Father God, or our understanding why we do it. But it's because we are not willing to crucify our flesh completely to lose our life, to find it and gain it in you, Lord, as your scripture tells us. Lose our life to children to find it in you, Father God, so you can protect us and show yourself strong on our behalf. We're asking you to touch them, Father God, all of them, Russia and um, Ukraine, continue showing yourself strong in that little army that they got there, Father God, resistance as we are, and, and let it be... Uh, 
an example to us that are following you, Father God, following the way, following the truth, that even though there's going to be a few of us that are going to be receiving eternal salvation, we got to hold tight until the very end, Holy Father, so that we can, we can finish this race, Lord, and receive, and you will receive us in the kingdom of you, Holy Father. I love you more than life itself, Father God. I ask you that you, uh, and I pray for all my brothers and my sisters, all our families, Holy Father, that are out there, that you show yourself strong on their behalf. Bring healing to them, Father God. Bring um, what you need to in their homes, Father God, to sit here and let us stop our idol worshiping, to sit, or, sit here and show us what it is to truly love you and you alone, Father God, and put you before anything else, any worldly traditions, any man-made commandments, but to obey all yours. For you tell us in your word, Father God, if you love me, keep my commandments, keep my judgment, keep my statutes, keep my precepts, keep my ordinances, and it ain't got nothing to do with these worldly traditions, and people are still going to be stubborn to continue that and serving that, Father God, and I'm asking that your mercy be upon their lives, because I know on judgment day, your word says, to keep in these things, you call us hypocrites, Holy Father. You call all of us hypocrites that sit here and serve these traditions of men and command, follow commandments of men, and people think it's a joke, but they'll learn on Judgment Day when they're being cast to hell for practicing lawlessness, Father God, for continuing living in sin, as you say in your word that you're going to tell a whole lot of people. Depart from me, you evil worker of iniquity, you continue practicing lawlessness. But by faith and believing you, Lord, I know that your mercy is above all things, Father God, and your forgiveness. And we're asking you to forgive us. We repent this day of anything that we have done that's disobedient, any any evil thoughts, anything that's lodged in our hearts, Father God, that we're bringing it to you, Holy Father. Sanctify us and wash us, Father God, renew us our strength as we wait on you. By faith and believe in you, Lord, I know that you are working in my master Christ, to show him as you, Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So let us sing this song, okay? And then we're going to start reading about what God says about his feast days. Blessed and honored belong to our God. Amen. We worship you in this place. Glory to you, Lord. As we sit here, we gather to you, Father. We give you all the praise, Lord. All the praise belongs to you, God. Praise you, Lord. Open up your hearts, beloved brothers and sisters, and let the Lord choose the Lamb, choose our King upon the throne. Praise, praise you, Yeshua. Kabahu Shiva. The Christ to our, to our Savior, our Savior, Amen. Praise God. Tabau, 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 Shiva, to the risen Son of God. In honor, glory, and power, Holy Father, salvation belongs to our God. Blessed and honor, power forever. Salvation belongs to our God. Our Redeemer, for the 
sacrifice you made for us, Holy Father. From our hearts to the heavens for the glory. Go, glory, Father God. We proclaim, Holy Father, in order, power, and power. And salvation belongs to our God. Blessed in order, now and forever. And salvation belongs to our God. Blessed in order, for glory and power, Holy Father. Salvation belongs to our God. Blessing and honor, Father God. Now and Salvation, Holy Father, the Kushibe, the one. Seen in order. Blessed in order. Abba Ushewa. So holy, so worthy, so great is your name. Earth will adore you always, so we shout out your praise, Holy Father. So holy, so worthy, so great is your name, Holy Father. And shout out your praise, so holy, so worthy, so blessed is your name, Holy Father, that the earth and Everything will shout out your fame, Father God, so holy. So that the earth will adore you, Holy Father, as we are called to. So, So great is your name, Holy Father. And shout out your name. Blessed in honor, now and forever. The salvation belongs to our God. Blessed. My God is awesome. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to find that song too. But, um, each day as we sit here and we go, we're going to sit here, we're going to, uh, re, uh, sit here and start reading some word. Okay, we're going to sit here and read some now because I don't want to see you. This is something that we need to sit here and discuss. So let us turn all of these spirits that have an ear to hear, that want to learn the ways of God's people, as he tells us 
In Jeremiah 12, 16, everybody else can do the worldly things, but we of God, we're going to learn the godly things. Amen. Praise God. That's why this world is so dysfunctional, because they're so fake about the things that they are doing, and they're doing it in a worldly way to try to justify themselves. And at the end of the day, they're still falling weak when we're gaining strength. We are being born of the Spirit. Amen. Praise God of the living God. And we're being blessed by God, that privilege, because it's not given to everybody, beloved brothers and sisters. So all of you, if you're feeling that, then you can thank God and praise Him for that. Because it's, it's something, something about that name. Amen. Praise God. Okay. Numbers 28 is going to talk about, it emphasizes on the offering. So we're going to go to Leviticus 23 or Deuteronomy 16. Deuteronomy 16, we'll, we'll speak about that because I already read some of that. Okay, Deuteronomy 16 tells us. Observe the month of Abib. And that is, that is the month of April, beloved brothers and sisters. Observe the month of Abib and keep the Passover to the Lord your God. For in this month of Abib, the Lord your God brought you out of, the, out, out of our forefathers, amen, praise God, out of Egypt by night. Therefore you shall sacrifice the Passover to the Lord your God. We know that Christ was a Passover lamb. Amen. Praise God. But he, it is still called Passover. It's not called this world of Easter because that's idolatry. They're celebrating something else. It ain't even got nothing to do with the Lord, even though they, they mask it. You know, they're pretending to sit here and do that. It ain't got nothing to do. It's like Ash Wednesday. It ain't got nothing to do with the Lord. God didn't send a Quran none of that. Amen. Praise God. And it's not in the scriptures. And nobody's pastor, preacher, priest, evangelist, prophet, or whatever that they want to be in this world can tell you that any of that is in this Bible. If they can't tell them to send me a drop me a, a text or a message to where it says you have lived here, because I'm reading you where it says to corroborate, right? Passover. You shall eat no leavened bread within seven days, you shall eat unleavened bread. With it, that is, see, the worldly ways they sit here and do their worldly Easter for one day. We are supposed to be keeping the Passover for seven days. Amen. Praise God. And I'm going to keep what God says. I'm learning. I'm not going to do the ways of the world and all of you people want to do it the way you want to. But me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. And that's why I can walk so confidently and so free because I'm not bound to try to keep the world in steps and have a big party. And I'm going to sit here and be obedient to God. You shall eat no leavened bread with it. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread with it. And unleavened bread is bread that is not, uh, has no yeast in it, saints. Amen. Praise God, all these spirits of heaven. It's, it's flat bread. Amen. For seven days, um, that is the bread of affliction. For you came out of the land of Egypt in haste, that you may, may remember the day in which you came out of the land of Egypt, all the days of your life. See, and be honest with you, thank you so much, Lord. A lot of people ain't left your, your land of Egypt. Y'all still bound and y'all still getting done over. Amen. Praise God. And no living bread shall be seen among you in all your territory for seven days, nor shall any any of the meat which you sacrificed the first day at twilight remain overnight until morning. Amen. Praise God. Like a lot of people, y'all cook all this meal the following day, y'all, it says not to. You shall not sacrifice the Passover with any of your, within any of your gates which the Lord your God gives you. But at the place where the Lord your God chooses to make his name abide, there you shall sacrifice the Passover at twilight. At the going down of the sun. I'm going to let y'all know something else too. That I learned, you know, through the, through the Holy Spirit that teaches us. Amen. Praise God. That uh, the Lord's calendar days are from, uh, from are their moon 
the Gregorian calendar the, the, of this day and age that the Roman Catholic Church, yeah, that's what y'all following. Y'all are following the sun. And remember, it got, we are following the what God tells us, what he ordained, which is the lunar. Amen. Now we're not following the moon. No, I don't mean, I'm not saying that, but his calendars start from sundown to sundown. Now from sun up to sun up. Amen. I'm just giving y'all something and I'll show y'all some more. Uh, you may not sacrifice the Passover until any of you which okay. But at the place where the Lord your God chooses to make his name abide, there you should sacrifice the Passover at twilight, at the going down of the sun, at the time you came out of Egypt. And you shall roast and eat it in the place which the Lord your God chooses. And in the morning you shall turn and go to your tents. Six days you shall eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day there shall be a sacred, sacred assembly to the Lord your God. You shall do no work on it. Amen. The feast review, you shall count seven weeks from your, for yourself. Begin to count the seven weeks from the time you begin to put the sickle in the grain. Then you shall keep the feast of weeks to the Lord your God with the tribute of a free will offering from your hand, which you shall give as the Lord your God blesses you. You shall receive before the Lord your God, you and your sons and your daughters, your male servants and your female servants, the Levites who are within your gates, the stranger and the fatherless and the widow who are among you at the place where the Lord your God chooses to make his name abide. And you shall remember that you were a slave, a lot of people are still slaves, in Egypt, and you shall be careful to observe these statues. The Feast of Tabernacle. You shall observe the Feast of Tabernacle seven days, which you have gathered from your threshing floor and, and from their wine press. You shall in, rejoice in your feast. You and your sons and your daughters, your male servants, and your female servants, and the Levites, and the strangers, and the followers, and the widows, and who are within your gates. Seven days you shall keep a sacred feast to the Lord. Seven days. Amen. It is none of the one days of the people in this world. And forget all about the rest. But we're learning the ways of the Lord, right? The Lord will God bless the Lord your God will bless you in all your produce and in all your works of your hands, so that you surely rejoice. Three times a year, all your males shall appear before the Lord your God in the place which he chooses, at the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and the Feast of Weeks, and at the Feast of Tabernacles, and they shall not appear before the Lord empty-handed. Every male shall give as he is able, amen, according to the blessings of the Lord your God, which he has given you. Amen. Okay, and it talks about... Uh, if you continue on them, it talks about you shall appoint judges and officers in all your gates which the Lord your God gives you according to your tribes, and they shall judge the people with just judgment. You shall not pervert justice. You shall not show partiality nor take a bribe, for the bribe blinds the eyes of the wise and twists, twists the words of the righteous. You shall follow what is altogether just, that you may live and inherit the land which the Lord your God has given you. You shall not plant for yourself any tree or wooden image near the altar which you build for yourself to the Lord your God. You shall not say a sacred pillar which the Lord your God hates. Amen. And he continues to say in 17, you shall not sacrifice the Lord your God a bull or sheep which has any blemish or defect. For there is an, that is an abomination to the Lord your God. If there is found among you within any of your gates which the Lord your God gives you, a man or woman who has been wicked in the sight of the Lord your God in transgressing his covenant, who has gone and served other gods and worshipped them, either the sun or the moon or any host of heaven, which I have not commanded, and it is told you, you should, you should hear of it, then you shall... In, Inquire diligently, and if it, it is indeed true and, and certain that such a, an abomination has been committed in the land, therefore you shall bring out the gate from the woman who committed this wicked thing and shall stone her to death. Amen. Praise God. So, that is some of what uh, 
Deuteronomy 16 tells us about that. In Leviticus 23, let's read Leviticus. Focus on the feast themselves. Leviticus 23. For all of you spirits that have an ear to hear. We're learning the way I'm learning. I want to learn God's ways because they, they sound like more fun. Amen. Praise God. Rejoicing and, and praising God and loving the Lord. Ain't no gossiping, slandering, and unsaved right there in, 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 the, in the, like the feast in these days. Y'all gossip, there's strife, there's drunkenness, there's all that mess. <laughs> and y'all call it good. It ain't got nothing to do with the Lord, does it? Let's be honest and let's be real. Leviticus 23, saints. And y'all know y'all can sit here. And any of y'all that ever want to come on video with me and share and be, y'all more than welcome to because we're members of one body. I don't sit here and keep that from nobody because I'm nobody. Amen. I am. An, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody all about somebody that can save your soul. Cause ever since he rescued me, he gave my heart a song to sing. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Yeshua Jesus. Amen. Okay. The Feast of the Lord. In Leviticus 23, and the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, The feast of the Lord, which you shall proclaim to be holy convocations, these are my feast, says the Lord. Six days shall be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of solemn rest, a holy convocation. convocation. You shall do no work. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. For all of you that are becoming our children of God, amen. And the seventh day is this worldly Saturday, amen, of the Lord. Six days shall abide, and I can show y'all for you worldly contenders, where you can sit here and see for yourself. They corroborate the, the Sunday because they said that's the day that Jesus rose, right? Okay, I can show you. And I will before the end of this little service here, uh, where it tells you, after the Sabbath on the first day of the week, when Mary Magdalene went down to the, to the tomb, that the stone was rolled away. After the Sabbath on the first day of the week. If you sit here and look, and you're going to see your feet. So that makes when the seventh day? Saturday. Praise God. For all of you spirits that have an ear to hear. I just gave y'all something. These are the feasts of the Lord. Holy convocations. Which you shall proclaim at their appointed times. See. Like I told y'all. God's. Uh, feasts are to the point, And it tells you the date. These are the feasts of the Lord. Holy convocations. Which you shall proclaim at their appointed times. On the 14th day of the first month. At twilight is the Lord's Passover. Praise God. And God's calendar and this worldly calendar are two different things because right here, the first month is in April. Amen. Uh, because they're, they're like his quarterlies and, and the Lord's lunar, If because it's lunar, you'll see it's because like, the sun ain't got none. But the, the, the moon has Full moons, half moon, beginning moon, crest moons. That's how you could tell. I mean, I'm just telling y'all something right now, Spirit. The Holy Spirit is yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I go shame, Praise you, Lord. That's how you could tell from one to the other. Amen. All of these spirits that have an to here. Because the sun, you can't tell it. It doesn't shade up. It doesn't halfway. It ain't none of that. But the moon did. God, that's awesome. Amen. And on the 15th day of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. To the Lord, seven days you must eat unleavened bread. 
On the first day you shall have a holy convocation, you shall do no customary work on it. But you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord for seven days. The seventh day shall be a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it. And please, all of you spirits that have an ear to hear, God did not do away with his feast day so you can sit here and celebrate your worldly days. Amen? Nowhere in scripture has could. It, and I challenge any of y'all to tell me where he done away with it. Because God, Christ said, I came to abolish no law of the prophets. Amen. But to fulfill a prophecy that he, that many might be saved. Many might. Not everybody going to be saved. Sorry. Like it or not. No, I, even if I don't like it, the word is the truth is the truth. But you shall offer an offering made by fire. Okay. The, the feast of first fruit. And then the Lord, the Lord spoke to Moses saying, speak to the children of Israel and say to them, when you come into the land which I give to you and reap its harvest, then you shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest, and he shall wave the sheaf before the Lord to be accepted on your behalf. And we can do that. Christ will do Christ, do Christ. Amen. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it and you shall offer on that day when you wave the sheep a male lamb for the feast year without blemish as a burnt offering to the Lord. It's a great offering shall the two tenths of ephah of the fine flour mixed with oil offering made by the Lord, fire to the Lord for a sweet aroma. And you know our our offerings unto the Lord are our prayers. Amen. That is our incense, that is our prayers that uh, our, our offering is our prayers unto the Lord, saints, and all of you spirits that have an ear to hear. Amen. Praise God. You shall either eat no bread, no part grain, nor fresh grain until the same day that you have brought an offering to the Lord. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. Amen. Praise God. Feast the weeks, and you shall count for yourself from that day after the Sabbath, from the days that you were brought that you brought the sheep of the wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be counted, counted 15 days to the day after the seventh Sabbath. Then ye shall offer a new great offering to the Lord. You may bring from your dwellings, and I'm reading this, all of you that have an ear to hear, but in a minute I'm going to tell you the days of this year because I've done studying on that. Amen. Praise God. Uh, tenth of Ephah, you shall bring it. Okay. Then you shall sacrifice uh, the kid that goes, the priest shall wait. Okay, more. Then you shall proclaim on that same day that it is a holy convocation to you. You shall do no customary work on it. It shall be a statue forever in all your dwelling places throughout your generations, Steve. Throughout your generations, says the word of God. When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not, you shall not wholly reap the corners of your field. When you reap nor shall you gather any gleanings from your harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and, from, and for the stranger. I am the Lord your God. How many people share these days and age? Do you get on their leg? Yeah, my leg. I'm calling the police. Well, God, God got something to bring. The Feast of Trumpets. Then the Lord spoke. And this is uh, Leviticus 23, 23. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have a Sabbath. Amen. A memorial of blowing of trumpets, a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it, and you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. And the Lord, your God, of course, also the tenth day of this seventh month shall be a day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation for you. You shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by the fire to the Lord. And you shall do no work on that same day as it is a day of atonement to make the atonement of, of you before the Lord your God. For any person who is not afflicted in, in the soul on that same day shall be cut off from his people. And any people who does any work on that same day, that person I will destroy from among his people. You shall do no, no manner of work. It shall be a statue forever throughout all your generations and all your dwellings. It shall be to you a Sabbath of solemn rest, and you shall afflict your souls on the ninth day of the month. 
at evening, from evening to evening, even you shall celebrate your Sabbath. Then we got the Feast of Tabernacles. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel. The fifteenth day of the seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days to the Lord. On the first day there shall be a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it. For seven days you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord on the eighth day. And we our, that's our prayer, John. You know, we pray to the Lord, we meditate, we worship, we praise, we glorify, we honor, and sing praises unto the Lord. Amen. Because we know that the sacrifice like that has been done with that is the ultimate sacrifice is christ amen these are the feasts of the lord which you shall proclaim to be holy convocations did you see any hear anything right there about easter or your valentine's day or your saint patrick's day these worldly festivities or your christmas does it say anything like that on you Amen. Praise God. It doesn't say none of that, but y'all keep doing your, do you? On Judgment Day, we're going to say, didn't I tell you in Jeremiah, Jeremiah 12, 16, and if they will diligently learn the ways of my people, swear by my name, saying, surely as the Lord lived, even as they taught my people to swear by Baal, that they shall be built in the midst of my people. Amen. So each and every day, beloved brothers and sisters, and I'm going to stop there with that. Because I'd like to sit here and share with you all what in, uh, in 2022 feast and new moon dates. The following are dates of the biblical commanded feast for 2022. They are not only Jewish holidays, but we know to be Jewish, but our brothers and sisters has nothing to do with the flesh, but the circumcision of our heart. Amen. Praise God. For we that follow the Holy Scriptures and truth tells us that to be Jewish, not of the flesh, but circumcision of the heart. That we pray for Israel and all brethren that are coming alive, awakened by the Spirit. Amen. To reality and the truth. Amen. Praise God. And we have on the Hebrew biblical calendar, a day begins and ends at dusk. See Genesis one. Accordingly, each accordingly each of these feasts begin and ends at sundown. This year, for all these spirits that have an ear to hear. Amen. Praise God. Passover, not your world of Easter. Amen. Praise God. It's, it's called, y'all keep the Passover for seven days. From uh, Passover begins on April 14th to 15th, 2022. The Feast of Unleavened Bread is from April 15th to the 22nd. Amen. Seven days you shall be eating unleavened bread. Amen, praise God. And all of you that don't know what that is, that means bread with no yeast is flat bread. The Feast of First Fruit is April the 16th and the 17th. It's in there, and, and we'll just read it. We're going to study more on it, amen, as these weeks go. Uh, Counting of Omar, Omer, April the 17th through June 4th. The Feast of Weeks and the Pentecost is June the 4th to the 5th. The Feast of Trumpets is September the 27th to the 28th, for all of the spirits that have an ear to hear. The Day of Atonement is from October the 6th to the 7th. The Feast of Tabernacles, the Shelters, and the Harvest is October the 11th to the 18th. And the eighth day is October 18th to the 19th of 2022. These, calend these days are taken from a calendar synchronized from start to start each Hebrew month on the new moon as it would be uh, seen from the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. This new moon is calculated using lunar phase software that can pinpoint the moon's position and phases at any time. Amen. Praise God for all of you spirits that have an ear to hear. 
So as we're sitting here, we're going through these times. We're going to learn it. I'm going to learn it because, you know, God tells us, he tells us in Jeremiah, the thing is, in these scriptures, but God warns us about changing anything or adding anything to it. So will he sit here and do the plagues unto us? And many people are without understanding. How do y'all know that's not why all this mess is happening in this world and God's sending, even though they try to justify and make vaccines and, and use many people as pit pin cushions? We're obeying the gospel and he's covering us. Amen. Praise God. Keeping us from the pestilence that roars by day and by night, saints. Amen. Praise God. And from the fiery darts that are thrown by the haters. Amen. And the spears, chunkers and everything <clears throat> that are hating us because we are following the way. The truth and the life to everlasting life. Amen. So we can be counted worthy to hear the precious words. Welcome home, my faithful and humble and loyal servants. Amen. Praise God. Are we remaining loyal unto the Lord when we're doing these feast of worldly celebrations or are we sitting here transgressing and rebelling against the Lord? That's something that all of you saints and all of you spirits that have in your to hear should sit here and truly understand. I know many people are not going to understand, but we're going to sit here and learn it together. Y'all are my brothers and my sisters, and I don't want y'all to perish, but if y'all want to sit here and be stubborn and perish, well, hey, God bless you, and have mercy be upon your life. But me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Amen. So then we're going to sing one more song. I like to praise God as we pray it out. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this evening that you've given us. Enlighten me, Father God. Always teach us, Holy Spirit. And help us to search and want to search out these scriptures to find out what pleases you, Holy Father. And not ourselves and what man or being doing as you say in your word, calling us hypocrites, Holy Father, from keeping man-made traditions and doing things that are not according to you, Holy Father. We ask you that you bless us, Father God, with understanding and wisdom and the desire to want to search these scriptures out to get closer to you and to know you, Holy Father, and all the things that you have asked us to sit here and do, Holy Father, but there's not nothing impossible for you. We're asking, you said, we, we receive not because we ask not, Father God. We're asking for your understanding. We're asking for your guidance. We're asking for your wisdom. We're asking for your knowledge. We're asking for your help, Holy Father, for we are lost people out here. And many people are getting led astray by worldly doctrines and doctors and demons, and we are transgressing the laws and the precepts and things that you have appointed for us to set your keep, Holy Father. But I know that your mercy is greater than anything, thank Father God, and we're asking for your forgiveness for being stubborn and rebellious and we want to continue doing the things that are unjust and unrighteous before you, Father God. And we're, but we're asking you, Lord, of host God of all creation, Abba, Father, Jehovah, Yeshua, great I am. Lord, of host is your name, Holy Father, that you enlighten us, Father God, that you fill us with the light, that you remold us, that you reshake us, that you rebuild us, Father God. We're asking you, Holy Father God of all creation, that you, Lord of hosts, will sit here and intervene in all our lives and keep us from the wills of the enemy and the deception. Open our eyes to see, Father God, and our ears to hear, Holy Father. That's a blessing from you. I ask you, Lord of hosts, God of our creation, to guide us to light our way. And be a lamp unto our, our feet, Father God, as your scripture says. My faith and believe in you, Lord, I know that you are working. As these praises go up unto you, Father God, lead us and guide us into us and, and in, in, enlighten us, Holy Spirit, enlighten us. We need you. We need your understanding. We need your wisdom. We need your knowledge. knowledge. We need your truth, Holy Father, that can set us free from the deception and the shackles and the chain that many people in this world continue to choose to sit here and live. My faith and believe in you, Lord of hosts, God of our creation, I know that you hear me. As everything is done in the name of Christ, you show me Jesus, my name is pray. Worthy of all the praise we could ever breathe. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. How oh, we live for you. Yeshua, the name above every other name. Yeshua, the only one who could ever say. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe, we live for you, oh, we live for you. Holy, there is no one. 
none like you there is none beside you open up my eyes and wonder show me who you are and fill me with your love and lead me in your love to those around me Jesus the name above every other name Jesus the only one who could ever say Worthy of every breath we could ever drink We we'll live for you Oh we live for you Oh yeah Holy there is no one like you There is none beside you Open up my eyes And I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation, and I will put my trust in you, Holy Father. Don't shame me, Ulema. And I will not. put our trust and our faith and our belief in you, Father God. As you are sitting here reaching out for us like you did for Peter, to step out on that water, Father God, to do as you had commanded us, Father God, to do and nothing else, Father God, for nothing else matters. We will put our trust in you, Holy Father, for we know that you are the truth, you are the way, you are the life, Father God, and that when we follow you, we will not be shaken about the shame. Amen. For all of you spirits that have an ear to hear. Amen. Praise you, Lord. As we sit here, we depart this evening, Father God. We ask you to come into our hearts, Father God. Remold us and rebuild us. That we give ourselves into the potter's hand, Father God. Renew us. Break the chains and the barriers, Father God. But all the hypocrisy that we're filled with, Father God, all the lies, all the deception, Father God, open our eyes to hear, Father God, and our stubborn, rebellious hearts, Father God. Take it. We give it to you, Father God, and to the potter's hand. In my master Christ, you show us his name. You gently call us, Father God, into your presence. God be by you. Your Holy Spirit, teach me. To live out my life through your eyes. I'm captured by your holy calling. Set me apart. I know you draw with me to yourself. Lead me, Lord. I 
Give our life, Holy Father, to you this day again. Renew us. We renew ourselves to you, Father God, in our vows, Father God. You call us gently, Holy Father, into your presence, Lord. And with kindness, and Lord, you lead us, God. Guide us by your Holy Spirit. Teach me, dear Lord, to live my life. Open our ears, Father God. Remold us and milk, rebuild us, Holy Father. We need you. I need your spirit. Never take your spirit from me, Holy Father. Always enlighten me, Father God. Uh, let all the darkness be dealt well with, dealt with with any of my brothers and my sisters, Father God. So we can be filled with your light as your word of truth tells us, Lord. Look for shame, man. In Christ's mighty name, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus, we pray. Beloved brothers and sisters, y'all have a blessed and wonderful evening. And if you care, y'all y'all stay here and uh, share these videos. And of course, I am on YouTube trying to build up that channel so that way more people can understand and come to the knowledge of the truth. So if y'all would like when y'all are watching this and, and go on my YouTube channel, y'all uh, subscribe so that way uh, I can, you know, if the Lord touches you, if not, well, you know, the gospel is not for everybody. And the truth that comes out of us it's, it's not accepted by everybody, but those that are called unto truth and called to eternal salvation will have an ear to hear. I love y'all. Have a blessed and wonderful evening. And may the God of peace be in your home.